And when I lived at Alamo Square, this wonderful elderly uh, couple, African-American, that rented to me, they rented me a three-bedroom flat for $1,000 a month. I lived there about five or six years. And, and let me just say this. Being single, living in a three-bedroom is wonderful. Now, I realize I was taking that away from some family. But, I, but when the new landlords bought it, they bought me out. And I went because I could have fought them. I was a senior citizen. I'd been there longer than five years. But I also knew what they paid for the unit. They were decent people. And what they paid for the unit, they couldn't, well, what we were paying in rent, they couldn't possibly afford to make their note. So I said, okay. I know some people may not have done that, but I did. Uh, but, because they, like I said, they were nice people just trying to better their own life. But at the same time, uh, if, you were, if you could live that way, it'd be wonderful. And that, now that three bedroom unit I was in, if there had been a family trying to get it at the same time I was getting it, I wouldn't have taken it. I wouldn't have taken it because I know they need it and that would have been the last place because we all knew for so many years. Now there's not many of them left, but we knew for so many years that the best landlords in town and in the Fillmore especially, but Bayview as well, that the best landlords in town were elderly black homeowners because they understood and sympathized with how difficult it is to survive period. And most of them were retired or close to retirement. Their places were paid for. And all they wanted was money to live on. They were not avaricious. They were not speculators. But in this city, we drove them out of business as fast as we could. And then we put limitations and restrictions on, on what they do with their property so they couldn't continue to survive like that. 